this one tonight has the buildup of a heavyweight fight, except the ring is a stage and the title isn't that of world champion. But the presidency is on the line and you'll help decide. Jason Calvi is here after talking to swing state Wisconsin voters considering the high stakes. Hey, Bria, yeah, the polls of Wisconsin have shown a razor close race, but there's still some in Wisconsin who say they're open to changing their minds. So tonight, the two candidates lay out their visions for the country. On Milwaukee's King Drive, voters get ready for debate night. I'm just looking for some more re reassurance from Kamala. Richard Hudson says his top issue is unity. And I think that Trump is the opposite of unity. Are there any things that you can hear from the candidates tonight that would sway your vote? No, no. No, not for her. Glenda Javine says she's definitely not voting for VP Kamala Harris, but she's still making up her mind if she'll vote for former President Donald Trump. With the border stuff, you know, I think, you know, he would be a good person for that. A recent CBS poll of Wisconsin voters found Harris two points ahead of Trump, but there are still voters out there who could be influenced tonight. The poll found voters on each side saying they'd still consider voting for the other candidate. Milwaukee voters tell us what they want to hear from the presidential candidates. Need to get those uh, grocery prices down. It's just really the cost of living is a little bit much right now. Insurance to make sure that the insurance cost doesn't rise. At the West Dallas Farmers Market, some voters told us they already made up their minds, but they still want to hear about these topics. I think reproductive rights in the Project 2025 and how that could affect us if, in fact, that would be implemented. I want to see how they're going to stop the illegals coming in, the crime, the prices of things, the housing market. With Election Day just 55 days away, a Harvard researcher in 2019 studied various countries' elections in 56 TV debates. It found that debates didn't sway voters. But we do look at this past June's debate. It sparked a major change. President Joe Biden seemed unable to recover and then dropped out of the race. Bria and Ted. So obviously you can't say that they don't matter. They do matter. Yeah. But do you think tonight's will sway voters? At this point, I'm still aghast that there are undecided voters, but there are. When we looked at that CBS poll, which is very recent, there was a number of people who said they would be able to potentially consider changing their vote. 4% of the non-Trump voters said they'd consider voting for him. 10% of the non-Harris voters said they would consider voting for her. So there's still a number of people out there that are still kind of wrestling, trying to make up their minds. So this, we will all be watching today. Yeah, this will be an election of margins, so any sway yeah. is going to really Especially matter. Especially in Wisconsin when the, vo the votes have been decided by 20,000 votes in the most recent presidential elections. All right. Stakes are high.